God is imagination. If you see you crying every day, that your life will be miserable. That everything about your life will be useless. But the Bible says, they shall gather together, but their plans shall be in vain. They shall speak their words. It shall come to nothing. For God is with us. I die daily. But for the sake of Christ, I am a survivor. They kill me every day. But for the sake of Christ, I am alive. There is a price ahead of you. You can't give up. If you give up, you will miss the price. There is something ahead of you. Press on. Press on. Don't look back. Now, today's message. Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. May God bless his living way. I want to speak on a subject I have entitled The Power of the Mind. The power of the mind. The mind is the element that controls your whole being. The mind is the element that controls your whole being. Your mind is the driving force of your life. You become whom you are by your mind. Your mind represents you. Now, let me say it again. Your mind represents you. Because your mind is an element that controls your whole being. Your mind is the driving force of your life. Your mind represents you. Your mind speaks volume of you. Your mind speaks volumes of you. Whomever you become, start from your mind. Whomever whatever you become in life it starts from your mind the Bible says as a man thinketh so is he as a man thinketh so is he your thinking produce something in your life. So, what you think becomes you. Your thinking becomes an atmosphere you dwell. Am I talking to somebody now? If you are here, put your hands together. Your thinking becomes the atmosphere you dwells. The environment you dwells. As a man thinks as a man thinks so is he you are whom you are of the way you think. If you think good, it becomes part of you. If you think bad, it becomes part of you. Because your mind controls your whole being. Your mind is the driving force over your destiny. And that is why you can lose your mind. Because the day you will lose your mind, you are doomed. 
Now how can see at The day you will lose your mind. You will lose focus. The day you will lose your mind. The devil will step in your life and destroy you. Now you will lose focus. The you will The devil will step in your life and destroy you. And that is why any time the devil wants to destroy you, time the devil wants to destroy you, he will first attack your mind. He makes you think that He will first attack your mind. He makes you think that your He makes you think that your mind is mine. He makes you think that your mind is mine. He makes you think that your mind is mine. your mind is mine. He makes you think that your mind is mine. He makes you think that your mind is mine. You become like a robot. To so the devil, he positions you on how he wants to position you. He makes you feel that your mind is mine. At the time the devil wants to attack somebody, the devil first attack the mind. He makes you feel inferior. He makes you feel you are nothing. He makes you feel you can't make it. He makes you feel you can't make it. Feel that you cannot recover from that sickness. Well, and the time the devil attacks you, 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 he attacks your mind. He makes you, 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 you think you are from a poor family. So therefore, you can't make it in life. He makes you think you are aging. So you can have a child. And the time you, the devil attacks you, he first attack your mind. He makes you feel that your mind belongs to me. But the devil knows that the mind controls our whole being. Am I talking to somebody Then put your hands together for Jesus. No, you are not clapping your hands. He makes you feel that your mind is mine. He makes you feel that your mind is mine. He makes you feel that your mind is mine. So there are many of us sitting here. The devil has gotten hold of our mind. But woe to you. Now, how can see if the devil get hold of your mind, your life is gone. You are gone. Everything you do, you will see any progress. Because when the devil take hold of your mind, he controls your life. He controls your destiny. Your thinking becomes the thinking of the devil. He makes you think that nothing good can take place in your life when the devil will touch you and attack you. He touch your mind. And that is why when God wants to bless you, God also will first touch your mind. God has to remove every dirty stuff of the devil from your mind. God has to clear your mind for you to think let the weak say, I am strong. So the weak is weak. But because God has touched the mind. The weak, his mind is telling him, even though you are weak, but your mind says, you are strong. Let the process, I am rich, even though you are poor, but because God has gotten hold of your mind, you are mine. It's telling you, you are rich. I prophesy to somebody, may God touch your mind. Am I talking to somebody else? Am I talking to somebody else? Blessed are those who have not seen it, but their mind is telling them they will have it. Blessed are those who have not seen it, but their mind is telling them they are great. They will make it. They are struggling today, but because God has touched their mind, their mind is telling them I am a great man. I am a great woman. I am a powerful man. Because God has taken hold of the mind. They don't think about today. They think about the future. I prophesy to somebody. May God touch your mind. From henceforth, may God touch your mind. Am I prophesying to somebody? I say, may God touch your mind. Lift up your voice and shout hallelujah. Your mind. What's what, Jenny? What, Jenny? What, Jenny? Must be controlled by God. Your mind. Your mind. Must be controlled by God. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me this. Your mind is your defense. Your mind. Is your defense. 
Your mind is your protection. If you lose your mind, you are If you allow the devil to touch your mind, you are gone. I pray for everybody. May you never lose your mind. May you stay focused. Am I prophesying to somebody? I say, may you stay focused. In spite of your pain, in spite of your predicament, in spite of your shame, in spite of your trouble, I prophesy to somebody. May your mind begins to tell you it shall be well. You will make it. The devil is a liar. I will make it. It doesn't matter on what I'm going through. My mind is telling me I am a great man. I am a great woman. I prophesy to somebody. Am I talking to somebody? I say I prophesy to somebody. May God touch your mind. May God touch your mind. Don't let the devil get hold of your mind. When the devil gets hold of your mind, you are doomed. You are gone. Everything about your life. It's gone. So you have to hold up your mind. Oh, so that nothing will bring you down. So that the devil cannot mess up your life. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah, no, Let me see you by your hands. Then put your hands together. Then put your hands together. Somebody who say, man of God. How can I allow God to touch my mind? By feeding your mind with the word of God. And the time you feed your mind with the word of God, the devil find it difficult to control your mind. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So the more you hear God's word, the more you become powerful. The more you receive faith. The more you receive anointing. The more you believe that you are blessed because it's by his word. Always feed our mind for hope. It's word. It's with you. Everything about your life shall be perfect. So in the book of Philippians chapter number 2, the verse number 5, he said, let this mind which was in Christ Jesus be in you. Let this mind let this mind which was in Christ Jesus be with you. Let this mind let this mind which was in Christ Jesus be on you. What is the mind? That was in Christ Jesus. Positive thinking. Great thinking. Jesus never thought of anything bad. The thinking of Jesus was all about good things. When you wake up in the morning, let your mind feed your body with good things. Tell yourself. I am healed. Tell yourself. I am great. Tell yourself. It shall be well. Tell yourself. All is well. Let your mind be as Christ. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Let this mind. Let this mind. Which was in Christ Jesus. Be upon you. I pray for someone. May this mind. Which was in crisis. Come upon your life. Receive that grace. Am I talking to somebody else? I said, May this mind, which was in crisis, be 
that made Christ to think positive that made Christ to think great that made Christ not to think of evil I prophesy receive this grace in the name of Jesus let this man which was in Christ Jesus come upon you so when you wake up in the morning think positive tell yourself it is well with my soul tell yourself I am born great I will be great tell yourself my life shall be well tell yourself the devil is a liar what my father could not do what my mother could not do I would do it tell yourself nobody has traveled in your family before you will be the first person to Travel, tell yourself nobody has built a house in this family before, her, but I will be the first person to build a house. Tell yourself nobody in this house has been greater, has been anointed, but I will be the first person to be greater. See, the anointed is all about the mind. As a man thinks, so is he. I prophesy unto somebody's life, may this mind which was in Christ Jesus come upon your life. This mind that was in Christ Jesus come upon you. May this mind this mind was which was in Christ Jesus. come upon you and let this mind as a man thinks so is he Philippians 2 verse 5 Jesus, let this mind that was in Christ Jesus come upon thee let this mind as a man thinketh so is he your thinking your mind is a driving force over your destiny your mind preserve your life your mind protects your life whatever you think is whom you become if you think great you become great powerful you become powerful anointed you become anointed long life you become long life. Whatever you think, you become. I pray for you. From henceforth, may you think positive. I say, may you think positive. Am I talking to somebody? I say, may you think positive. You will not die, but you will live to declare the words of God. Somebody clap your hands. Your mind. 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 Oh, think, touch somebody and say, think well, think well. Mind. Mind. What is your mind telling you? Is it telling you you are healed? What is your mind telling you? Is it telling you that a year by this time you will be in America? What is your mind telling you? Is it telling you you can't die? What is your mind telling you? Then what you catch the wall? Is it telling you? I catch it all. Say that what the doctor is telling you. Then the staff on the catch the wall. It's a liar. I am true. But what God says is what will come to pass. Is your mind telling you? What you catch it all? Say you have those kids. When your sons are you have those children. When your sons are man, you will be a great woman. You will be anointed man. You will be a powerful man. You will be a rich man. You will be a man of God. What is your mind telling you? I came here to enforce it. Whatever positive your mind. Mind is telling you, I enforce it to come to manifestation. Am I talking to somebody in the house? I say, I enforce it. 
to yes, come to the conversation. Your mind. Your so mind. So in Romans chapter 12. Romans form, the first number two. Paul said. Paul said. Paul said. Paul said. Paul said. Paul said. There is something significant. Be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind, be transformed. Be transformed. Oh, and be not be conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. Don't think like the way they think. Don't. And they say the economy of Ghana is hard. Tell yourself, minus you. Am I talking to somebody that has? When they say in this family we don't get money. Tell yourself, minus you. When they say people die in this family mysteriously. Tell yourself, minus me. Paul said. Paul said. Paul said, Paul can't say, be not be conformed was moment we are see by this world. Moment we are see, but moment. you be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed. Be transformed. Your mind must change. Your physicality must change. Be transformed. So when you are transformed by your mind, by your mind, because your mind controls your whole being, it transfers into your heart. When your heart is transformed, your body is transformed. When your body is transformed, your spirit is transformed. When your spirit is transformed, your image is transformed. I pray for somebody. May God remove every dirty stuff of the devil from your mind. May God renew your mind. Am I talking to somebody? Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord a shout. Bon, c'est bien de casser, mais il n'y a pas de faux. Où n'y a où y a, wate? Mais il n'y a pas de faux. Wate. Ou bien qu'il y a un ami, nous fia. Amen. Mais c'est ma ami, où n'y a où y a, ou bien qu'il y a un ami, nous fia. Amen. Ou à où qu'il y a un ami, nous fia. Amen. Ou à où qu'il y a un ami, nous fia. Ou bien qu'il y a un ami, nous fia. Amen. Ou bien qu'il y a un ami, nous fia. So ma miu, so ma miu. Ache, so ma miu. Ache, uwe ache. Me no benya wanyi. Me no benya wanyi. Ache. Okay. Minchilo ni nchao ma miu. Ache you. Men kancha. Ache. Okay. Ubi ne kuma me. Oye bema. Onwa ni miya bema. Adiye ti e kuma ameno sade na bedi wunse. Wapaya kwa insebiye. Enti yangu. Jesus. Madam, esi ni insebiye ni yeka. Eni wohu. One she ya. E kwa yamu nam su kuma ameno. Ombe nam sa kwa na aswe ku. Esi ni e japadi minti asase ano ba yefifu osho. To say koko fuo, to say emi fuo, to say asasi bi yetu ya sunda ba yekesia. Oma mi wu yeni ni na ba bidu wu semuno. One she ya umbe kum. Esa esa enunti no kuma ame. Jesus. Eti madam ya kafu. Eti na mi ni kasha ungo me kacha se. She ya na one trusti wabu shi afu ye. Enti wabu shi afu ni because enkrofu mo be upa uju amu dino. Amu suno mani brewo. Wani amu no stress le no. Madam, adi ami huni nge. Wani na umpai. She says. Me huse. Me huse. What you charge for? Enkrofu bi. Enkrofu bi bre wa fu ni mo ye juma. Me huse wu kum. Me asu wa charge for. Attack! You do what you any who can achieve. I know a thing. To move on, pay. And ne, a radio casa. Jesus. Bon semi yodofu. Ah, mo insema mera. Bon semi Jesus. Mo afu. Bache you. Eni afu. Koko 
It is a wonderful. Hello, God bless you for watching. And I want to take this opportunity to invite you for any of our services, which is Wednesday morning. The service starts from 9 to 1.30 p.m. And then last Friday of every month, we have our mega all night. And then on Sunday morning, celebration service. Church start from 9 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. Lives are being transformed. And I want to encourage you to come to our Wednesday morning service, which we have named it Jabez Prayer. The prayer that Jabez prayed that his life were being transformed. People from all over are coming for this Jabez prayer. Even Muslims are coming and testimonies are taking place because prophetic is taking place, healing is taking place, deliverance is taking place and then the word of God is being given to the people and their lives are being transformed. So I want to encourage you to join us in any of our services and I'm telling you, your life is not going to be the same. You can just take my number on the screen, call me and I will pray with you. Our location is also on the screen. Just come to us and then your life is not going to be the same. Our location is on Drocko Official Town, King of Kings Road, beside the washing bay. You will see our billboard, the church name on it. Just come, and I'm telling you, your life is not going to be the same. They make a and say, "Me just saw when you were so happy as such a bright, never saw the sun. You can't understand. 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 You can't understand